Hi, Cameron. This is uh, Jeff Allen, and I'm responding to this uh, post you put up about the hackathon for humanitarian aid uh, that's being done. I think it looks like it's from Azure AI. Um, or, you know, you're organizing it. Um, I've got an idea. In fact, it's not an idea. It's already been done 25 years ago before I had all this gray hair. So, um, And now the channel should do it faster and do it public rather than have it sit on a shelf for 25 years. So um, uh, look up the, uh, just look up Jeff Allen, J-E-F-F -F, space A-L-L-E-N, then space Microsoft, and then space Creole. And on August 2010, I was invited to come give a Microsoft research lecture. They're in the headquarters, and I talked about the Haitian Creole project uh, that we did, how we got Haitian Creole into Microsoft Translator. Well, it wasn't called Microsoft Translator. It was called Big Translator back then, but we know it is today. Uh, in five days. In fact, it was four days, 17 hours, and 30 minutes. That's the world record, okay? But that was only the text part. And then we got in Google Translate. And everybody else has to find some to follow it. It's in Facebook now. You can find it. YouTube now. It's video. Subtitle translation. It's all over the place. It's in Amazon now. It's everywhere now. Um, uh, translate. So, um, and LinkedIn and Twitter and <laughs> Facebook. Every, it's everywhere. Okay? That's the text part. But guess what? We also released, in January 2010, the speech data and all the speech models to do the, you know, the TTS, the text-to-speech, and also the automatic speech recognition. It was already done. And we released it in 2010. It had been done 12 years before. And exactly for humanitarian aid and disaster relief and, uh, and all, all this crowd control and all these needs. That's what I designed the system to do. And I wrote all those, those scenarios for 25 years ago before I had this gray hair. Okay? It's already been done. We built a system. We built it in five days within me coming back from, the, from, the, from Haiti with all the speech data. Okay, We did it in five days. So the, the challenge now is to do it under five days and do it faster and to make it public. Public, public. Anything you do? Do the do the do just build those just just integrate the speech models and pull in the API for Microsoft Translator that's already there and it's done. Uh, so we probably won't run through the Microsoft Translator app, but just do it another way and make it available so we can save people's lives. <laughs> that's the goal. Okay, that's what we did. That's what I built the system for. I'm about ready to cry right now <laughs> because we've been sitting there for 25 years. It's been sitting on a shelf up there in the Carnegie Mellon Institute. Carnegie Mellon Institute. University of Language Technology Institute for 25 years, kind of locked because it doesn't, you can't boot Microsoft, Microsoft NT Server 2000 because it won't boot <laughs> on that little computer. And we're not going to, we're not going to report all that stuff over. No way, no way. So let's just get around it. Use the data. Okay. That's what we did to engineer it for the text. Now you get the ch chance to do it for, so do it in the hackathon. Get it done. Make it happen. Make me happy. And the data, it's for free. Okay? The speech, the, the models are for free. And you can do with them what you want, and people can make money with it if they want to. Okay? It doesn't matter. If all we have to do, there's one condition, is to just provide a link from the app or whatever it's ever done to cite and reference the creators of the you know, the data and those that release the data and just that page, just look up. And they get the data and the speech models and get that data license and the stuff. It's pretty simple. Just look up Haitian Creole, Carnegie Mellon University, CMU, Haitian Creole speech. And bam, you're there. And you get all the speech models. It's all there. And the data license. There's a little description there, too. Is it made, I, you know, I had Karen Wallace write a description up. She was very graceful to do that. She read through all her 20 articles or whatever, and she actually wrote about a summary. And then... Because we hadn't been used anymore, I actually did a video a couple well, a couple weeks ago. I explained on my YouTube channel, Jeff Allen France, on uh, YouTube, there is a video there on the Diplomat Project in which I explain all those 12 articles or 15 articles. I summarize it. And I explain exactly how we did the speech data and how we did the text data. I spent both in two different videos. Just go up to Jeff Allen France, YouTube, one word, no, no punctuation, no hyphens. And uh, it's actually up on my LinkedIn profile in the banner. It says, come to my, my YouTube channel. It's there. Just go there. Go up to the supporting on minority languages, the playlist, and then there's one inside the playlist. Or you just search on the channel. And you'll find on Diplomat. And 
be a good thing. A good thing. They got you a little bit there, Shaver Friday or CMU or Friday Mellon University. I don't remember exactly which the keywords I put in there. But it's right there. And I explained the whole thing. So uh, exactly how it's done. So it doesn't need to have older people, elderly people's voices. It doesn't have to have kids' voices. It doesn't need them to save lives. Okay. It just needs to have to be put in place and make it work. Uh, and it'll work. Just do it. Just, just just make it happen. I'll be happy. I'll be really, really happy. Uh, I'll feel like I've, we've accomplished it's the, that quarter of a century later, really. Just, just please make it happen. Thanks. Bye.